Hey everyone, here's another build order tutorial, this time for the Zergs out there looking for an all-in versus Terran. And this all-in isn't just a typical one, you include drop overlords on lair to drop lings and queens to make it an even more effective all-in. So, let's get into it. As always, starts with a drone as a Zerg player. Well, I guess if you're 12 pulling, that's not true, but start with a drone. Get an Overlord. Go back into Drones. Generally, when there is silence in these build orders for Zerg players, that means you should be making Drones. It's the default way of playing Zerg. More Drones. The 17th Drone. You can rally that from its egg to the natural to put the hatchery exactly on time. Get that hatchery at 17. Take a gas at 18 drones and a pool at 17. Fill the gas geyser. Get an Overlord. Get two Queens and four Lings. Start Zergling speed. Inject as soon as the queens pop, and then start another queen immediately. Also start an overlord. At this point, just try not to get supply blocked. Start overlord speed. Send a drone to your third. Set that down around 44 supply. Take two gases and start your lair. Also, scout with your overlord, now that speed is done, to see what the Terran is up to. Start another queen. Now around 4 minutes, or 39 drones, start your Roach Warren. Zerg players, you're gonna have to get used to the idea of determining your benchmarks around your drone count. 39 drones is what you're gonna want to stop at. At this point, you're going to make nothing but lings, and then as soon as the roach warren is done, you're going to make roaches. Start another queen as well at this point. Get a couple more overlords than usual, because you're about to fill the supply. Start 
Start your two drop overlords, one at home and one ideally next to the Terran's base, and then start as many roaches as possible, ideally getting up to about 12. Pick up the queens, and pick up the lings, and move across the map around five minutes. Hopefully you've taken care of any Hellion threats, or they've just simply left you alone. So they are not scouting this. Before you get to the Terran's ramp, start six Ravagers. Drop the Lings into the main. And around the same time, attack with the main army, drop the Queens on top of the Terran as well, and just keep flooding with Lings after that. Now onto the build discussion. So the strengths of this build, um, kind of obvious, but an all-in can auto-win some games. It's kind of the point of why you mix in all-ins every now and again. The drop of a lords add an unusual depth to the all-in. They might consider having the front secure with a tank, perhaps, and a supply depot wall. But you bring the queens, and suddenly they land on the tank. It's not as effective. Uh, they might, you know, depend on banshees, which is the next point. Bringing the queens along and being on lair <clears throat> means you have a way to deal with banshees. So you bring the queens along, maybe you morph the uh, drop overload into an overseer, and then you're good to go against the banshees, against tank, and then in the main, you're harassing the SEVs. So even if the front doesn't work out as well as you hope it does, you might still net 16 SEV kills on the main. Now the weaknesses are also kind of obvious with it being an all-in, depends on being unscouted is a big one. Um, and it is not exactly easy to scout, but the Hellion run by sees how low your drone count is, or if they actually see the roaches being built as you build them, they might get, you know, caution uh, tank or banshees again and, and be okay. And all in, so failure isn't really an option, such as life, um, doesn't provide a lot of safety against earlier Terran pushes uh, or harassment, such as Hellion run bys and banshees. If there's a Hellbat push, you might be able to scout it on time with your Overlord speed, but you will have to um, accommodate, you know, pretty severely and mess up the build order. Now this is a pretty straightforward build, being an all-in, but there are some tips to know. Use the fast overlord speed to safeguard yourself and find openings for the ling drop to go unscouted. So basically search for that armory, search for the cloaked banshees, and try and defend with as little, um, you know, as little as possible. Not that many lings, not that many spore crawlers. And then the ling drop can perhaps find a place to just be dropped without being scouted whatsoever, which will probably lead to a better, more effective uh, all-in when it, when it comes to push. Pre-hotkey the queens, so as soon as they unload, transfuses can be used, uh, especially if they happen to scout that's going to be a roach push and they actually have defenses. Sometimes the instant transfuses on a ravager or two can be game-breaking. Now, Ling Drop is best used in combination with the attack, but can be used first to distract the Terran. So basically, say you see an opening where they have no supply depots, nothing to scout it, you drop it, and while it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, all they do is bring the Hellions back, perhaps, or pull the SCVs off the mineral line to take care of it. Um, especially if you're in any lower leagues, like that could be the difference of them scouting you at all, paying attention at all to the front, finishing a supply depot well off at the front. Like it can be. Um, a very good way to mess up your opponent before you hit them with the, you know, the big gut punch. And of course, if you like this content, then consider following me on this YouTube channel, on Twitter, on Twitch, on Instagram, supporting my Patreon, uh, whatever. And also, go ahead and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.